today is finally the day that I am going to hopefully get rid of all of the pet smells in our house. I've been thinking about this for a while because lately when I've been coming into the house, I can smell it a little bit. And so I know if I can, other people can, probably even more than me, <laughs> because it reminds me of that Febreze commercial where the person's driving his car and then he has a passenger in his car also who totally smells the dog smell and it's like a big giant puppy. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure if you have a dog, you saw that commercial and you related to it. But um, so what I'm doing here is just going through and doing a total deep clean of everything, a little bit more than what I usually do, especially focusing on getting some of that pet dander smell out. And I also made a graphic that has a list of everything that I was doing today. And I'm gonna put it up at the end of the video. That way, if you're wanting to do the same thing in your house, you can screenshot it if you want. And it's kind of just like a checklist for you to do the same stuff. And of course, leave it to me. I'm the one that decides to wear black on the day that I'm going to clean up all of the pet hair. Crazy. So once I shook out the blankets, I just wanted to take them outside and, or back inside I mean, and do a quick wipe down of them because I don't personally love putting all of this hair straight into the washing machine and hoping that the washing machine gets it off. So what I'm going to do is put the blankets down and kind of do my best to just do a quick run through and get a bunch of the hair off. and. The coolest trick that I've found so far, um, I've tried a couple other products and other tricks, but this one for me works the best, is just using these rubber gloves. They're just from the dollar store, and then you get them just a little bit wet. They don't even need to be soaking wet or anything like that, but then you just start kind of pulling your hand down the blanket or fabric or whatever it is you're cleaning, and it pretty much pulls all of the hair up really quickly without too much effort. So that's what I'm doing here, and I know I don't get all of the hair up. Um, I think if you wanted to really do like a really good job, you definitely could. You just need to spend a little bit more time doing it. But like I said, I just kind of wanted to do a quick run through. That way this giant fur ball was not going into my washing machine. So like I said, I wasn't 100% worried about getting all of the hair off. If you wanted to do that, you could, but I am just going to go ahead now and throw those into my washing machine. And I'm also going to add some cleaning vinegar here into the same spot that you would normally do the fabric softener. And that's because it helps get rid of pet odors even a little bit more than the normal wash would. I don't know if you've ever put stuff into your washing machine and then like taken it out and it still sort of has that pet smell in it. So adding this little extra step with the vinegar at the very end, I don't know how it works, but it definitely does improve the smell a lot. So if you've never tried it, I would definitely just try out that little trick and see if it works for you. Once I've vacuumed Brewer's bed, I'm just going to go ahead and put it outside to sit in the sun because it was a nice day out. I also sprayed it down with some vinegar, again just because it helps with that pet smell. But if you happen to have a bed that has the removable cover, I would probably recommend just taking that off and throwing that right into the washing machine. I just didn't hear because for whatever reason this particular bed, it gets worse like every time you take the cover off so I just try as much as I can to leave the cover on there. I'm 
I'm just using my Shark Uplight. I came with a ton of different attachments and I really like this one because you can get underneath appliances and furniture and things like that without moving it. So I thought that this was a cool thing to share. It also has a specific pet hair attachment too, which you'll see me using in just a couple of minutes. But I wanted to share about this vacuum in case you're looking for one. I know a lot of other YouTube cleaning channels also share this vacuum, which is actually where I found it. But I guess if you weren't convinced by you know other videos that you've seen, just wanted to go ahead and give it a five star review because I originally was actually looking for a Dyson because I wanted something cordless and something easy. But then the more research I started doing, I realized that the cordless vacuums don't really um, have great battery life. And then they also don't have really great suction. And for me personally, I'm not one of those people that has like three or four different vacuums. Like this is my main vacuum. So I really wanted something that could really get the job done. And I'm so glad I went with it because it works amazingly. The suction is great. And it has technology in it so that hair doesn't get wrapped up. And so you know that that's like the best feature ever. There's also one more tip that I wanted to share with you here and I definitely recorded it but I have no idea where the video footage went so I figured I'd just tell you all about it because it's pretty simple but it's just changing out the air filters in your house. We have a couple of them. You can actually see there's one up in the ceiling um, right there in the top right corner but I change those out at least every three months or if I'm starting to smell that pet smell more often. I'll go ahead and switch those out. And I'm just sharing that because I don't know how many people also know about switching out the air filters. I'm sure you've probably done it, but um, when I was a new homeowner, that was something I didn't even realize needed to happen. So if you haven't changed out your air filter in a little bit, this is just a reminder for you to go ahead and do that. And then one tip that I also do is I go ahead and I write the date on the air filter itself that I changed it out. That way, if you're trying to remember when the last time you changed it was, you'll just know it's right there on it and you can just check the date that's written there. Now I'm going ahead and giving Brewer's Crate a really good deep clean. He truthfully doesn't use it too much in the winter time, but he uses it all the time in the summer. Like he probably lays in the crate more than any other place just because he's a Labrador retriever and he honestly, I think he hates the summertime. Like he loves January, February, like his favorite months because the weather is perfect for him. But he will go ahead and hang out here a lot in the summertime. We don't really use the crate too much to um, put him in here. Like we don't tell him to, like he goes in there on his own. We used to use it a little bit more that way when he was younger, just to kind of keep him safe when we weren't home. But we found that he just really likes hanging out in here. Sometimes too, when there's like fireworks or loud noises going on, he'll kind of run in there. It's like his safe space. So we keep his crate set up and we just let him go in and out, you know, whenever he wants to. But summertime, he definitely hangs out in there a whole lot. And this crate has got pretty dusty. Um, so I'm just going ahead and wiping it all down, getting all that dander that's hanging out and all the dust and everything like that too.
here I'm just putting down this blue pad which was Brewer's pad in his first crate and he wasn't even big enough to cover the whole thing so it's funny that it looks so tiny now in comparison to everything else but I'm putting it down in the bottom of the crate because like I said Brewer likes to go in this crate kind of on his own and sometimes in the middle of the night he will go ahead and go inside and he plumps down and it makes a complete racket and wakes us up so I came up with the idea of putting this just down in the bottom because then um, not everything's clinking together and making so much noise and it's been working really great since we did that. While I had these blankets in the dryer, I took a break and had lunch, but now they're all dry and ready to go. So I'm just going ahead and putting them back on the couch. And truth truthfully, I really don't love these covers so much, but I think they're just what works for us right now. But if you have something that you really love for your couch to cover it, um, let me know because I would be all ears for it. But I just feel like we need to have something on our couch because if you have a dog that's even half our size, you probably have the same issue. But like he goes outside and gets muddy within two seconds. And even though I wipe down his paws and things when he comes in, it's just crazy the amount of dirt that he brings in. So I would feel not comfortable not having anything over our couch. Like we definitely need something. So this is what's it for us right now, so I'm just going ahead, putting these all in, tucking everything back in. Brewer is unfortunately not a very cuddly dog. I'm kind of sad about it. I'm mostly sad about it, but it just makes me laugh because this day, I, when I was putting the covers back, usually he would run the second he saw me coming towards him with some kind of blanket or something like that. So the fact that he let me just put this over top of him and then just continued to lay here was so unlike him.
The next step I wanted to do was to just brush out Brewer's Coat. This should be something that I'm probably doing more often than I do. Like, it wouldn't be a bad idea to do it every single day, but I just don't always think about it or have the time. And he also doesn't always stand still for this. But um, sometimes if I go outside with some treats and he's feeling, you know, calm enough to do it, he'll let me brush him out. But this will just help get some of that extra fur. That way it's not always falling out inside the house. See, I told you I cleaned the floor and then two seconds later, muddy paws everywhere. <laughs> Next thing I wanted to do was go ahead and give Brewer a quick bath. And I couldn't believe when I was trying to film this, normally I have to coax him into the bathroom like a little bit, but today it's like he knew that I was going to give him a bath and he just went ahead and jumped in before I was even in the bathroom. So. He got in there and our little trick usually that gets him in there is putting this peanut butter on the wall. I made sure it was nice and clean first, then smear the peanut butter. I know some people use those licky mats for dogs too and those work really well, but we just put it right on and he goes to town and loves it. And um, then you're able to give him a bath, kind of distracts him while you're doing that. But once he's in there, he really likes the water, it kind of like mellows and calms him down. And um, yeah, so I'm giving him a bath, making sure that that pet dander is coming off. And I would say that normally I do this with Cody. We kind of tag team. It's a lot easier when there's two of us. But um, today I was just doing a super, super quick bath for Brewer and getting all of him nice and clean and fluffy. When Brewer was little, he was pretty apprehensive about getting in the bathtub. I think he just didn't like to like jump up and over to get in there. But as you can see here, he just got right back in even after the bath was over to get the rest of that peanut butter. But this was the last bigger thing that I wanted to do today to kind of de-dogify my house. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have other tips or tricks that you use to get rid of the dog smell in your house, please share them down below in the comments. I'm sure I missed something. So if you have stuff that you love, um, I would love to see those. And I'm sure, you know, other people who came here to watch this particular video would also love all the tips and tricks as well. So I just wanted to say thank you for joining me today. Make sure to subscribe if you like this kind of content. I love doing all kinds of cleaning and organization type videos. So I don't want you to miss any of those coming in the future. And as a reminder, I do have a quick graphic at the very end that if you want to screenshot, you can go ahead and do that. That way you have that list to check off if you're tackling it as well. So just wanted to say thanks for being here and I hope you have a really great day.